Well, greetings, Doomers and other Indiana Jones fans. And this time we're talking about one of my favorite beverages, the Tiki Temple of Doom. But first, last week we had our annual meeting of the Joneses at LA Comic Con. Richard Cook, who is probably the best indie senior I've ever seen, he and I have been getting together at LA Comic Con for six or seven years now. So this meetup has kind of gone from just me, him, my wife, my son, to we're inviting all kinds of indies to come out and it just keeps getting bigger and better every year and it's a lot of fun. Here's a couple highlights. But now to the subject of this month's video. I just picked up this awesome Temple of Doom Tiki mug from Geeky Tiki's. I mean, just look at this. This box is, is just something. It's beautiful. It has the, the other indie movies here on the back. Um, of course, I had to get Temple of Doom because I'm a doomer. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it. It's like being a kid on Christmas Day. Oh wow, look at this. Look how pretty. That is gorgeous. I love the colors. It's sturdy. This feels like something substantial. It's not one of those like light plastic mugs. This thing is, this will do some damage. It is so pretty. And we all know that what you do with a tiki mug is put a tiki drink in it. And what we're gonna do today is make my favorite tiki drink, which is the Tiki Temple of Doom, as featured at the Scum and Villainy Bar in Hollywood. Now, I have been a big fan of Scum and Villainy. I have been going there since the place opened back in 2017, I believe. Even though aesthetically it looks like the cantina from Star Wars, it welcomes all fandoms and Indiana Jones especially. We've gone there several times in our indie gear. Every time I walk in the door, the bartenders usually hit the Indiana Jones theme. And I always get the Tiki Temple of Doom. It's a, it's a great drink. When you order it, they mix it up for you. Then they hand it to you and then they say, cover your heart, Indy. They blare the Raiders theme and then you see the big skull with the Sankara stones on it on the TV screens. It's a it's a big production and, and the whole bar gets a kick out of it. So I highly recommend you check out Scum and Villainy in Hollywood and order the Tiki Temple of Doom. Now fortunately for us, Scum and Villainy is kind enough to print their ingredients list on the menu. So what I'm gonna attempt to do today is try to make my own home version of the Scum and Villainy Tiki Temple of Doom. Let's get to it. And welcome to my Temple of Doom bar. Right here I have the ingredients laid out for the Tiki Temple of Doom. As I said, Scum and Villainy is kind enough to list the ingredients they use on their menu. So we're going to go off of that, kind of approximate what we think the, the mixtures should be, and then finally pour it all into our brand new Temple of Doom Tiki mug. Let's get started. Okay, now first thing, the, the base of the drink is screwball whiskey. Now I'm a big bourbon fan and I like my whiskey and the idea of a peanut flavored whiskey didn't sit well with me at first, but I've tried this drink with just a regular whiskey and it doesn't quite have that same, that same flavor profile as the one from Scum and Villainy. So screwball whiskey it is. Now in our little shaker filled with ice, we're gonna go with an ounce and a half of screwball whiskey. Next on the recipe, it calls for Cruzan coconut rum. I looked in a couple places, couldn't find it anywhere. So we're gonna have to settle with uh, good old Malibu rum. Can't have a tiki drink without rum in it. So we're gonna add an ounce of rum to our concoction. Next up, banana liqueur. I made my own, not too hard. You can find recipes for it on the internet. We're gonna do half an ounce of banana liqueur. And finally, to thicken this thing up and give it some depth, we're gonna add half an ounce of cream of coconut. Now I tried an ounce before and it was a little too much, it was a little too rich, so I knocked it back, let the liquor kind of speak for itself without the coconut stepping all over it. And now with our ingredients, all in our shaker. We're gonna give it a good shake. Let the cream of coconut kind of mix in really well with everything. 
And we're gonna shake it until that shaker frosts up. Ooh, it's getting cold. We got our Tiki Temple of Doom mug all filled with ice. Let's pour this in. And finally, to top it off, some cinnamon and some mint. To your very good health. Man, that is really good. It's a little too good. <laughs> <laughs> I have become a true believer. So that is my home recipe of Scum and Villainy's Tiki Temple of Doom. If you're ever in Hollywood and you're visiting, please go check out the Scum and Villainy bar. It's wonderful. And hey, let me know. I'm happy to come out and meet you in my indie gear. And that's all for now. I wish you all much fortune and glory.